Block is such an important element of today's volleyball sport because attack is going so strong we need to have a good block so that the defense get a chance to defense. If you want to know more, take a closer look at this video. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome on my channel. I hope you have a great day. Today is about blocking. I'm going to show you a block exercise we just did a few days ago, which is about technique and tactics. So therefore, there are probably some things you can take out of this exercise and uh, we can dig right into it. Let's go. Before taking a closer look at this blocking exercise, please notice that in the back of the video, the two liberals are doing some extra exercise surf and reception right now um, because of course no libero has to block and therefore they don't need to practice the block we want to practice very specific for each player and this is one of the main principles of volleyball training and therefore the liberals can do something different for their improvement and not participate in this blocks exercise. With that said, let's take a closer look at this blocking exercise. So we always have three guys at the net and of course they will work specific to their position, one middle blocker, one opposite or setter on position two and an outside hitter on position four and they're gonna do three block actions starting from the middle. So the middle blocker will toss a medicine ball over the net while the outside players will do a single block action on position two and four and after that we have two more double block actions on position two and four signaled by my co-trainer uh, standing behind the block line you can see him in the very right part of this picture standing in the back of the court behind the grizzly head on the floor and he is signaling with his arms where the next block action will be done me standing on the other side of the net, I am taking a closer look at the block technique here. Uh, I can watch how they move, how they are doing their steps on the net. Um, to see how they reach over, it would be better to stand like near the pole so I can see it from the side. But uh, there is always something you can't do as a trainer. You have to find your position for correcting your players and therefore in this part of the training I choose to stand right in front of my blocking players and to see what they are doing. So if you compare now the actions right now to the beginning of the video, it should be better a little bit. We now attack a little bit stronger and the fingers are already warm and prepared for doing some block actions. And we are taking care here of the movements in the first place of doing our steps and we are practicing our core stability, moving up, having four hands together nearby so we have a close double block at the outside positions this is what we focus on and uh, therefore this is the technical part of this exercise coming together as a double block having a close body contact at our shoulders and having four hands next to each other to be a stable double block so this exercise can be done for jumping power, for jumping height, for speed and agility, for plyometrics. So this can be some kind of athletic training for you guys. And as well, it can be done at the beginning of the main part of the training to be a little bit more on the tactical side of the practice. And of course, to improve your technique of blocking. So blocking can be done for three reasons. First reason, of course, we want to score immediately by blocking the attack and score a direct point from this block. Second thing, of course, is we can at least second thing we can cover some part of the court. So at least the defense has a great chance to defend the ball and we can set one more time and attack really strong to score the point. And third thing, of course, it can still be hard for us to block and defend the ball, but still we can keep the ball up in the air. So at least play some hard ball over the net. So the other team has another option, 
but not already the point for them. So we have to practice all these three situations to be best prepared for the volleyball game. Okay, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Maybe you wanna leave a comment down below what you think about blocking and blocking exercises. And if you don't wanna miss any more videos, please subscribe to my channel. It really would help me grow this channel. Maybe you wanna ring this little notification bell so you get notified when the next video is online. Usually Mondays, sometimes on Thursdays, I post a new video. You are welcome to join the community and I would like to see you in the next video. See you there, have a great day, bye bye. <laughs>